Oh, yeah. So my name is Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Thank God. And today is April 1st, 2024. And I was thinking, what kind of video do I want to make that I haven't? So this video is for people that are considering trying pipe smoking <clears throat> or beginner pipe smokers. And there's two phases that I'm going to cover uh, during this video. There's a lot of uh, stuff I'm going to try to cram into uh, a sh as short a period of time as I can. The two things I want to cover is, number one, what kind of pipe should I buy? And number two, what kind of tobacco should I smoke in it? And I wish I had that information. I started uh, smoking a pipe five years ago. Uh, my grandfather was born in 1905, and he smoked a pipe. Back then, everyone smoked in the house, and uh, we loved the smell of it. And uh, so it's something that I've really taken to really appreciate myself and have a passion for. Let's start out with pipe itself. Um, figure your budget on what you want to spend on trying something. You can go a couple of ways. Um, for about 10 to $15, you can get one of these cheap corn cob pipes. Get a decent one, though. I mean, you know, spend 15 bucks. The only drawback to a corn cob pipe, it's going to taste a little bit like the corn cob when you first start smoking it <clears throat> until it's broken in. So don't let that discourage you. So if you pick it up, 15 bucks, 20 bucks with tax, whatever, you know, and shipping, I, whatever. Uh, you haven't lost anything if you if you don't love it, and you can put it up as a knickknack or whatever. Uh, so yeah, you can start out on the cheap side with a corn cob pipe. My very first pipe was a Dr. Graybow, and this is my very first pipe that I bought five years ago. And the thing that I like about it, it's made out of a wood called briar. I won't get into everything but about briar, but briar is what a lot of pipes are made out of, most pipes. Um, you can get them in pear wood, but I wouldn't recommend a pear wood pipe for your first pipe. I would recommend going with briar. Briar is going to give you a cooler, smoother smoke, in my opinion, while breaking it in. Um, and this Dr. Graybow five years ago cost me $30. And now for the same pipe, you're going to spend 50. So, you know, if you don't mind shelling out 50 bucks for something that's, that's beautiful like that, you're really going to enjoy your smoke better than smoking something out of a, a corn cob pipe. Now you can light your pipe many different ways. Stay away from those torch lighters because it's just going to burn your pipe. Torch lighters, no, 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 no. You can use the Zippo lighter, although you're going to taste a little bit of the Zippo fluid. You can use matches, but at a lot of times in pipe smoking, especially when uh, you're first learning, uh, there's a lot of relights. Uh, and then uh, my, my favorite is the good old-fashioned made in the USA Bic lighter. You know, any type of lighter that has a soft butane flame, you're not going to get a taste from it. So that's where I started. Um, so, you know, that pipe was 30 bucks. I mean, and now you're going to spend 40 to 50 bucks on a Dr. Graybow. Dr. Graybow is a decent, nice beginner pipe. Uh, some of the other briar pipes, and I would recommend make sure it's briar instead of, you know, a corn cob. But if you want to start out on the cheap side, go with the cob. 
Mr. Brog makes some awesome pipes, awesome briar pipes. Mr. Brog is spelled B-R-O-G. And these are handmade in Poland. These are uh, a couple of examples that I have. And they range usually between about $25 and uh, up to, well, I paid 140 for one. But um, make sure it's briar, not pear wood. Um, so that covers the pipes and, you know, the way you light your pipe. The next thing you're going to need is a tamper tool. You can get these real cheap. Any smoke shop is going to have a pipe tamper tool that you use to tamp and that to scrape and stir your tobacco around. And it's got a little scraper. It can be real simple. Um, so the mistake I made, I bought the right pipe five years ago. I love this pipe. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at the briar on it. It's beautiful. And it's broken and it's got some carbon buildup. The biggest mistake that I made that I wished that I would have had the knowledge on, what kind of tobacco should a beginner pipe smoker buy? What did I buy? I bought Captain Black Cherry Aromatic. Now, it tastes good, it smells like cherry, it's beautiful, it burns good, but it's very acidic and it gives you tongue bite. What is tongue bite? Tongue bite is after you smoke a pipe, it feels like your tongue's on fire, like you bit your tongue or like you had hot cheesy pizza or something like that and burned your tongue in the roof of your mouth. And that's uncomfortable. So I still smoke this every now and then, but it is very acidic. So I don't smoke it that much. Uh, probably the top three blends, uh, three or four blends that I would recommend, and I think I have them out here. Uh, we have... Uh, we have what's called, uh, this tobacco, it's called Lane Bulk Hazelnut, L-A-N-E, Bulk, B-U-L-K, Hazelnut, H-A-Z-E-L-N-U-T. And I would recommend starting out, there's many different forms of tobacco. This is what they call ribbon cut. It's almost like cigarette tobacco it's it's sliced it, it comes like sliced in little ribbons reason uh, I would recommend going with a ribbon cut tobacco it's just much easier to work with okay and I'll get into maybe another type of tobacco that a beginner could definitely work with uh, so these are nice they pack good in your pipe the ribbon cut does so lane ball hazelnut, it burns good, it it tastes good, it's smooth, it's cool, it's an all day smoke. It's not going to give you tongue bite, all right, uh, and it's 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 fairly mild. Uh, so that would be the first one. Um, the second one that uh, I would definitely recommend. Uh, it's also another ribbon cut. You can see it in there. Just regular ribbon cut tobacco. This is called Northwest Track. Northwest T-R-E-K. And that is a real good blend. You can smoke it all day. It has a great flavor. Very aromatic. It, it, your room will smell great. People around you will enjoy it. That's the second one that I would definitely recommend. Uh, and then, as a newer pipe smoker, I fell in love with... This is made by Cornell and Deal. It's called Two Friends Celtic Mist. And that's it right there.
Two Friends Celtic Mist. That's also a ribbon cut. And that is made by Cornell and Deal. But if you go on pipesandcigars.com or any, all you got to do is type in Two Friends Celtic Mist Pipe Tobacco. This really has just an unbelievable aroma. Um, it just smells good. It's got, I think, vanilla and rum in it or something like that. Irish mist, yeah. And I think it has a little vanilla in it, too. Um, that is really... Those, those would probably be the top three blends that I would recommend. Um, and then we have... Uh, We have what's called uh, Royal Challenge. This is made by East India Trading Company. Royal Challenge. It's a real gentle, nice aromatic smoke. Royal Challenge is an excellent blend. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, another East India Trading Company. You can get these in three packs. They'll give you Officers Club, uh, Royal Challenge, and then one other one. Uh, this one's Officers Club, and it's also made by East India Trading Company. So, and I've seen them, you know, online. They have a three-pack. I can't remember what the third one is, but you can try it out and get Officers Club, Royal Challenge, and then there's another one all made by East India Trading Company. Uh, another really nice tobacco <clears throat> is this. It's made by Sutliff. But if you just look up Indulge Walnut Maple Pie, uh, it's smooth. It tastes like maple and walnuts. It's, it's great. And it's also ribbon cut. Now, if you've already been smoking a pipe for a little bit, you want to try to get into something a little different, you can get into Cornell and Deal makes this uh, blend called Pirate Cake, which is also a great smoking, but it's compressed. Basically, they take uh, this ribbon cut tobacco, they put it in a press, lightly pressed it, so you're going to get like a cube, you know, of tobacco, and you just slice off some of it and then you rub it between your fingers on a cutting board or something and then you pack it in your pipe like that it comes apart very easily that's another great smoke for someone who's been smoking a newer pipe smoker um, and then we have uh, got pipes and tobacco all over the place uh, another one that I really like which is if you, if you haven't started to smoke in a pipe yet, don't try this one. But if you're a new pipe smoker, you, you, you might like this one. It's called Bengal Slices Barrel Aged. And it has Latakia in it, which is a type of tobacco that's real smoky. Uh, and it's uh, aged in whiskey barrels. Uh, so <laughs> the taste on this is good. And this is the way it cut. It comes. It comes in a ribbon cut. And if you're a brave and you've never smoked a pipe before and you want to try it, go for it. Basically, it comes in slices like that. And so what you do, I've got, let me get down the, the, this one out that I have that's kind of cut down a little bit here. So that one's been cut down. You basically take a very sharp knife and you basically just cut it about an eighth of an inch thick, about a quarter of an inch thick, cut it, cut it, rub it out on a cutting board. Rubbing it out means you just rub it between your fingers until it falls apart. Uh, and that also is a great smoke. It's not going to give you tongue bite. It's not harsh. but it is more stronger than the first couple blends that I showed in this video. 
Uh, one of my favorites that I ran into that I absolutely love, that smooth as silk, that just is unbelievable. It's, uh, I buy it by the pound. It's uh, made by Sutliff, and it's called Vanilla Custard. You can see it right there. Sutliff Vanilla Custard. Very nice aromatic. It just tastes like a great dessert. It's good, and it's ribbon cut. So that comes very, very moist. I'd recommend putting that out on the cutting board, spreading it out, you know, enough for one pipe full spread it out and let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and let it dry out a little bit so that's my take on uh, you know what kind of my recommendations on you know what do you do about a pipe what do you what tools do you need so you're gonna need a pipe you're gonna need uh, a tamper tool, definitely have to have a tamper tool. And then you're going to need tobacco. So that's uh, that's my take on and my video on uh, for all you people thinking about pipe smoking and uh, all those who are new pipe smokers. Um, more and more people are getting into pipe smoking. Uh, the prices on these pipes are going up. So, like I said, for a beginner pipe, my three top choices would... You can go on the cheap side with the corn cob pipe for 15 bucks. I would definitely make sure it's a Mississippi Meerschaum because you're going to get a quality corn cob pipe out of that. Or a Dr. Graybow, and uh, that's spelled G R A B O W. Dr. Graybow, G R A B O W. Or you can go with the Mr. Brog, Mr. B R O G G. But try to make sure it's Briar. Stay away from the pear pipes and the other types of woods. I've got my most enjoyable smokes out of beautiful briar. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. Hope this video uh, helps some people out and welcome to uh, the world of pipe smoking. <laughs> and then watch a video on how to pack a pipe and smoke it after you get all that stuff. Over and out.